and welcome to another one on Northwest Association for Blind Athletes workout videos. My name is Mary. I'm a programs coordinator with NWABA and today we will be doing Pilates. Before we get started, I just want to make sure that you have some water nearby. Make sure you have a yoga mat or if you don't have a yoga mat, uh, just some carpet or maybe a towel or a blanket or something soft that you can do our exercises on today. Um, when we're going through all of the exercises, if you feel like there are some that aren't, um, aren't very comfortable for you, you're welcome to downgrade them. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you are more than welcome to do any of the challenges that we do throughout our Pilates workout. Again, just to summarize, we want to make sure that you are making sure you're listening to your own body. So challenging or downgrading our exercises as you can. All right, so let's get started. We are going to get started on our backs. So I'm gonna lay down on my yoga mat. So I'm laying lengthwise on my yoga mat. So the mat is running the length of my body. You're just gonna lay down flat and then your feet are going to be flat on the ground. Palms will be flat on the ground as well. Your feet should be kind of close to your bottom, but um, they don't have to be touching. Just make sure that your feet are flat on the ground and your knees are pointed towards the ceiling. We're going to be doing a few exercises called bridges. So with a bridge, you are just going to lift your hips up off the ground like there's a string from your belly to the ceiling. So hips go up to the ceiling and then your hips are going to come back down. We're going to repeat this exercise a few times, but before we actually do the exercise, we're just gonna warm up our hamstrings and our glutes. Hamstrings are the muscles of our, the back of our upper leg, and then our glutes are the muscles on our bottom. So first, just push your feet into the ground and then feel your glutes and your hamstrings activate. Keep pushing into the ground and then release. We're gonna do that two more times. So again, pushing your feet straight into the ground, feeling your glutes and hamstrings activate or tighten maybe. All right, and then release. And then we're gonna do it one more time. Push your feet into the ground. Make sure you're breathing throughout this exercise. Push, push, and release. All right. Now we're going to get into our bridges. So we're just going to, again, with your palms flat on the ground, lift your bottom off the ground until there's a straight line between your knees and your shoulders or your lower shoulders, and then lower back down to the ground. We're gonna do that five times. So go up for two, and then come down. When I say bridge or up, that just means bringing your bottom up. So we're bridging now and hold and then lower. Bridging our fourth time, hold and lower. And then one more time, but we're gonna hold at the top. So bridge, bridge, bridge here, hold, squeeze your glutes together if you need. All right, we're gonna put all of our weight into our left leg now. Straighten your right knee so that your toes are pointed towards the wall in front of you. Lower your bottom and then bring your foot back to start. So your feet are going to be side by side now and we're gonna do that again, but on the left side. So bridge, straighten out your left leg, lower your bottom to the ground, foot back on the ground. And whenever you straighten out your leg, toes are going to be pointed towards the wall in front of you. All right, bridge. Extend your right leg. Lower your body. Right foot to the ground. Bridge. Extend your left leg at the knee. Lower your body to the ground. Lower your left foot to the ground. One more time. Up into our bridge. Right leg extended, lower your bottom, right foot to the ground. Last time on our left leg, bridge, extend your left leg, 
lower your bottom to the ground, lower your left leg to the ground. We're gonna do that sequence again, but this time instead of your knee extending, your knee is going to, or your toes are going to point towards the ceiling. So our toes were pointed towards the wall in front of us. Now our toes are gonna be pointed towards the ceiling. Don't worry about keeping your leg in a straight, don't worry about keeping your leg straight or in a straight line. If you need to keep a little bit of a bend in your leg while we do the exercise, you are welcome to do that. If you'd prefer to continue just straightening your knee and pointing your toes towards the wall in front of you, that's fine too. So we're going to bridge, right toes towards the ceiling, lower your bottom to the ground, right foot to the ground. Bridge, left foot to the ceiling, lower your bottom to the ground, lower your left foot to the ground. Bridge, right toes to the ceiling, lower your bottom, right foot to the ground. One more, or on your left side now. Bridge, left toes towards the ceiling, lower to the ground, and then lower your leg to the ground. Make sure that your legs are staying straight and that your legs are going out to the right side or the left side when you're lowering, when you're balancing on that one leg. So last round with this exercise, bridge, right toes to the ceiling, lower to the ground, right foot to the ground. Bridge, left toes to the ceiling, bottom to the ground, left foot to the ground. We're gonna go through that again, but this time instead of just going right down to the ground, we're gonna pulse, go up to our bridge, pulse down, bridge, pulse down. Whenever you go down, you can go about halfway down, back to the bridge, and then down to the ground, okay? And whenever you're in your bridge, make sure you're squeezing your glutes and squeezing your core. You don't wanna use your back muscles with this, so if you do, just reset your body by going back down to the mat and then pulling up with your core. And when you're at the top of your bridge, tighten your glutes. All right, here we go with our bridge and pulses. So bridge, right toes towards the ceiling, pulse, bridge, lower to the ground, right foot to the ground. Bridge, left toes towards the ceiling, pulse, bridge, lower, left foot to the ground. Right toes up, bridge, lower, or pulse, bridge, and lower to the ground. And then foot go, right foot goes to the ground. Left side this time, we're gonna go up into our bridge, left toes towards the ceiling, pulse, bridge, lower to the ground, left toes down. One more time through, bridge, right toes to the ceiling, pulse, bridge, lower down, right foot down. Last time on the left, bridge, left toes towards the ceiling, pulse, bridge, lower to the ground, left foot to the ground. All right, great work. Now we are going to do something called a modified 100. So again, you're just gonna stay laying on your back, Knees are going to be bent. Feet are flat on the floor. Knees, again, point towards the ceiling. And then we're just going to lift our head and our shoulders up off the ground. But don't, tuck, don't tuck your chin. Uh, make sure there's about an orange, the space that an orange can take right under your chin. And then we're gonna hold and we're gonna lower. We're gonna do that four more times. So lift up. So again, just lifting our shoulders up off the ground and lower. You may feel this in your core or your abs and raise up for three. Hold and then lower. Two more times, raise up, hold that and lower. One more time, raise up, hold and lower back down. All right, we're gonna go through that five more times again. We're gonna add some arm movements. 
So we're going to lift our shoulders up off the ground, flutter your arms. So that just means lift your arms up, down, up, down to the ground, and then head and shoulders go down again. So that's one. Head and shoulders off the ground, arms up, down, up, down to the ground, and lower. When you bring your arms up, they don't have to go all the way above your head. Just lift them about six inches off the ground, lower so that they're hovering right over the ground, up, and then down again. All right, so we have three more times. Lift your head and shoulders, arms up, down, up, on the ground, and lower your head and shoulders. Two more times, lift up, arms up, down, up, down to the ground, and lower. All right, one more time, shoulders and head up, arms up, down, up, down to the ground, and then lower your shoulders. All right. So the next exercise that we're going to work out of, we're done with our bridges, is going to be tabletop. So the tabletop position is similar to if you're familiar with yoga on your hands and knees, but we're just going to do more of the knee movement with that, where we're going to lay on our backs and we're going to kick our feet up so that our, uh, our lower backs are flat against the ground but our hips are bent at about a 90 degree angle and then our knees are also bent at a 90 degree angle. So basically you're making a tabletop or a table with your shins. It's like somebody could put a tray on there and the tray wouldn't fall off your shins. Again, hands flat on the ground, palms on the ground as well so that you can get that stability uh, when you're doing the workout. All right. So, right now we're just going to, with your right leg first, just drop your right leg forward until your toes touch the ground, and then bring your leg back up to start. Left side, left toes touch the ground, come back, back up to start, and then we're gonna repeat that, okay? Right toes down, and up, left toes down and up. Again, you're just going, moving your legs straight down so that your toes touch the ground, keeping a knee, a, a bend in your knee, right toes back up, left toes down and up, right toes down, up, left, down, up, right, down, up, left, down, up, one more time, right side, down, and up, left toes, down, and up. Great job, if you need to put your feet on the ground, give your core a little break there, maybe rub out your core muscles if you're feeling it. All right, whenever you're ready, we are going to, we are going to, go back into our tabletop position. So go ahead back up into tabletop. And then we are going to lean our legs to the right so that our right pinky toe is touching the ground. And then with your core, back to the center. When I say with your core, I just mean squeeze your core together to bring your legs up to the center position and to the left, lean to the left and then up. That's one, lean to the right, and center, lean to the left, and center. If your toes don't touch the ground all the way, that's all right. Just go until you feel a good tightness in your core. Center, left, center. Keep breathing throughout these exercises, so maybe you'll breathe in, lean to the right, Breathe out as you come back to center. Breathe in, lean to the left, and then breathe out, going back to center. Whatever breathing pattern feels comfortable for you. But continue to go to the right, 
Back to center, to the left, back to center. Two more times through, right, center, left, and center. One more time, legs to the right, center, legs to the left, and center. All right. All right, I'm gonna scoot up on my yoga mat now. So you can put your feet flat on the ground if you need to, again, give your core a little rest. Grab a little water if you need to. Okay. All right, back into our position. Just reading my notes, making sure I'm on track here. All right. So your legs are going to go back up into your tabletop position. And similar to the exercise that we did first in tabletop, your, instead of your toes just coming down to touch the ground, you're just going to straighten your right leg until your right leg is hovering over the ground and then pull it back to our tabletop position. Same thing, left leg extend, bring back to tabletop position. This one's a little more challenging, so if you feel yourself pushing into the mat with your hands, um, that's okay. Try to use your core muscles as much as you can, but we're gonna go through that exercise eight times on each side. So that was one, that was our first rep, our little demo rep. Go into two, straighten your right leg completely, back to tabletop, straighten the left, Tabletop, right, extend, tabletop, left leg, extend, tabletop, right leg, extend, and back to tabletop, left leg, extend, tabletop. Halfway there, right leg, extend, tabletop, left leg, extend, and tabletop. Right leg extend, tabletop, left leg extend, and tabletop. Do one more here, extend, tabletop, left leg extend, and tabletop. All right, if you need to shake out your legs a little or kind of roll side to side, if that feels good, just stretch out your core muscles. That's okay. Sometimes my, in between my, the crease of my hips kind of hurts. So you need to maybe put your feet down and stretch out your legs. You are welcome to do that. That one's a tough one. So good job for staying in there. All right. So with this next exercise, we're basically going to do the same thing, but we're going to add a pulse. This time we'll just do four of those exercises. So we won't do the full eight, but we'll do four on each leg. So that'll just look like laying down, feet flat on the ground, just to start. Palms are flat on the ground as well. Okay. All right, and then we go into our tabletop. Extend the left leg, raise it up slightly, lower down, tabletop. Left leg extend, up slightly, back down to the ground, and tabletop. So that's kind of our pulse. You just lift up slightly and then lower back down to the ground. And then you go back into your tabletop position. All right, so that's one. Let's do three more on each side. Right leg extend, raise, lower, tabletop. Left leg extend, raise, lower, tabletop. Two more. Right leg, extend, raise, lower, tabletop. Left leg, extend, raise, lower, tabletop. Go ahead, do one more at your own pace. Left leg, extend. All right, go ahead and put your feet back down onto the ground. 
This time we're going to do that exercise with a final twist. Again, if you want to continue to do this modified where you're just keep sitting in tabletop with just your toes going down to touch the ground, that's okay. You're welcome to continue to do that. With this exercise, we're gonna turn this into a bicycle exercise. So if you're not familiar with the bicycle exercise, we are going to go into our tabletop position, or if it's more, it's gonna be more comfortable for me, but it's more comfortable for you as well. You can start just by sitting upright. Okay, make sure I have enough room on my mat. All right, so for our bicycle exercise, this is again using a lot of our core muscles here. We are going to lean back till our body is at about a 45 degree angle with the ground. Our legs are going to go back into that tabletop position. Hands go behind your head, so ears, hands are behind your ears. When you lower or extend one leg, the opposite elbow is going to come to the opposite knee. So if my left leg is going to the ground, left elbow to left knee, back to start. I always want to come back to start. I always want to make sure my shoulders are nice and square and my face is facing the wall that's in front of me. Okay? So let's go through that bicycle. You can go at your own pace because I know this exercise is pretty challenging, but we're going to start by lowering our upper body back about 45 degrees. Each hand behind each ear, legs in tabletop, lower a leg and twist, elbow to opposite knee, return to start. Again, go at your own pace. Try to count the starts two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, good job. Go ahead and stretch out your core as you need to. Sometimes uh, my lower back starts to feel that a little bit, so it's nice to just do a little sitting twist where I'm still sitting, but I'm turning all the way, so I'm looking at the wall behind me and repeat on the opposite side. Now we're gonna do some exercises for our legs. So I'm gonna move my camera out of the way or my laptop out of the way. Okay. So for these exercises, we're gonna start in sideline on our right side, and then we will switch to the opposite side after we're done. So I'm gonna go on to my right side first. So I'm laying on my right side. My right arm is kind of propping me up. So you wanna make sure that your right elbow is directly underneath your right shoulder, just because you don't want to put any kind of strain on your shoulder if your arm is at a different angle, okay? First, we are going to just do some leg lifts. So like I said, my right arm is supporting me on the ground. My left arm comes over in front of me. So my left hand is also kind of supporting me too, giving, a little, giving me a little bit of balance. My right leg is bent and my left leg is going to be straight. So my left leg is straight and my toes are pointing toward the wall that's in front of me now. So before, um, the wall that's in front of you is gonna be, it might be a little different from the wall from before, but your foot is, your ankle's making an L shape. So your ankle isn't, a straight line, your ankle is in an L. So you're just going to lift your left leg up and then lower it down to the ground. Lift your left leg up and lower to the ground. You don't have to lift your leg up super high, whatever is comfortable for you, and lower. Lift for four and lower. Lift five, lower. 
Lift six, and lower, seven, lower, eight, and lower. Whenever you do these exercises, and again, for when we continue to go through um, this flow, you don't want to, you want to make sure you're not leaning over your shoulder that's on the ground. Because again, you're going to put a lot of strain on your shoulder, and you don't want to do that. You want to protect your shoulders. Okay. So just make sure you're keeping a nice upright posture. All right, so we did our first leg lifts. So now you're going to lift your leg up, point your toes. So now that your, now your ankle should be in about a straight line and you're just going to make circles with your leg. Keep going, just make some circles with your foot, kind of like arm circles, but it's with your foot. Make sure that your hip isn't moving around a ton. You just want to make sure your legs are, your leg is what is moving. All right, keep going for three, two, one, and stop. Go ahead and lower your leg. Stretch out your leg if you need to. You know, that feels good for me if I bend my knee at my hip and at my knee. If you need to sit up and Shrug out your shoulders, just your shoulder shrugs, or wiggle your arms a little bit, that's okay. That feels good for me, so that's what I'm doing right now. All right. So we did our leg lifts, we did our leg circles. Now we are just going to do a little bending of our leg to kind of flex and extend those muscles. So again, going into your sideline position, propped up on your elbow. Uh, elbow is directly below your shoulder, right leg is bent. You're going to start by pointing your toes, so there's a straight line at your ankle. Bend your leg up so that your hip makes a 90 degree angle and your knee makes a 90 degree angle. And then whenever you push your foot back down, make an L with your ankle and extend your leg so your leg is straight. So point your toes, bend your knee, make an L with your ankle, extend your leg down. Point your toes, bend your leg and bring your knee up towards your chest. Flex your foot or make, make an L with your ankle and bring your foot, bring your leg back into extension. Let's do that four more times at your own pace. Lift your leg back down to an extended position, lift your leg, extend, lift, extend, one more, lift, and extend. All right, good job. Go ahead and sit yourself up. We're going to do that on the opposite side now. So you're going to start by laying on your left side. We're going to get a workout in our right leg. Our laptop over here. I don't lead us in the wrong direction. Okay. So again, make sure you are starting by being propped up on your left elbow. Again, elbow is directly below your shoulder. And you don't want to lean too much into this exercise, lean into your shoulder so that your shoulder goes past your elbow. Just make sure that your shoulder and elbow are lined on top of each other. All right, left knee again is bent, just to give you a little more stability. Your right hand is flat on the ground too, again, just to make sure you have more stability with this exercise as well. So first exercise, go ahead and uh, we're going to point your toes to the wall in front of you, so you're making an L shape with your ankle. Lift your right leg up, again, as far as you can, whatever feels good for you, and lower down to the ground. We'll do this eight times. Lift up, two, lower. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. That's four. Lift, and lower, lift, making sure your ankle is in an L shape, and lower. Lift, and lower, two more, lift, and lower, lift, 
and lower. Good. So we're gonna do those circles again. So point your toes so there's a straight line at your ankle. Lift your leg up and we're just gonna make some circles with our leg. Again, try not to have your hips moving all over the place. You wanna make sure your hips are pretty stable or pretty still in the position that they're in. And make circles. Keep that up for five, four, three, two, one. All right. If you need to, go ahead and sit upright. Shrug your shoulders. Bring your shoulders down. Shrug your shoulders up. Bring them down if you need to. Okay. All right. We're going to go back into our last leg, our last exercise in our side lying position. So if you remember this from the other side, when you get into that position, you're leaning on your left forearm, left leg is bent, right leg is straight, right hand is flat on the ground. You're going to lift your knee up towards your chest. You don't want to bend your knee too far. You want to come up to about level with your hips. So you're making about a 90 degree angle at your hips and your knee. And then whenever you push your foot back down, you're just going to flatten your foot so you make an L shape with your ankle. Go ahead and lift your leg up. Extend your leg. Lift your leg. And extend. Lift. And extend. We're halfway there. Lift. And extend. Lift, extend, two more, lift, extend, one more, lift, and extend. Great job. All right, we have a few more exercises left in our Pilates flow for today. Make sure you grab some water if you need to. I'm gonna grab a quick drink real quick. Okay. All right. So for this exercise, next exercise, we're gonna be doing some Pilates in a plank position. So I'm gonna ask you all to get to a high plank. So if you're not familiar with that, you are just going to put your hands flat on the ground. Hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. You want to be hands closer to the shorter end of your mat. You're going to go into a plank, so your toes are going to point into the ground. You want to make sure your bottom isn't, you're not doing a downward dog, your bottom isn't towards the ceiling. You just want to make sure there's a nice straight line between your shoulders and your the back of your feet or your heels. If you'd like, you're welcome to go down to tabletop position with this with one leg. So that just looks like keeping one leg on the ground and the other leg extended back and doing these leg extensions that we are about to do. But if you can try to go again into high plank, I'm going to explain the exercise and then we'll all go through it together. So I'm not doing the exercise right now. I'm just sitting up and explaining it. So we'll be in our high plank, hands flat on the ground, directly under your shoulders toes pointed into the ground. We're going to start by lifting our right leg first. You're gonna lift it up until it's about level with your bottom and then we're gonna do some pulses. So you're gonna lower your leg to the ground and then back to that raised position, lower, raise, lower, raise. We're gonna do that eight times and then we're going to switch on to the left leg. So. Your right leg is going to be the one that's not moving. Left leg will be moving. You're going to lift your leg up and lower, up and lower, and we'll do that eight times through. All right, here we go. Go ahead into your high plank. So we're in our high plank. Remember to engage your core with this. Lift your right leg up, lower to the ground, up and lower, up. Lower, up, lower. Halfway there, 
up, lower, up, lower, up, lower, one more, up, and lower. If you need to, take a break. If not, let's go to the left leg. So lift your left leg up, lower, up, and lower, up, lower, up, lower. Halfway there, up, lower, up, lower, up, lower, one more, up, and lower. Good job. All right, go ahead, take a break if you need to, shake out your arms. If you need to shake your arms out, shake your hands out if your hands need it as well. My dog Stella is doing some Pilates with us today. She just woke up from her nap, so I guess she's watching us do our Pilates. All right, so our final exercise is going to be in a tabletop position. So now we're going into the tabletop position that you may know from a standard yoga class. So, or any of the yoga that you may have done with NWABA for that matter. So, we're going to go into our tabletop. So, hands flat on the ground, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. And then you're going to curl your toes under so that your toes are, the bottoms of your toes are touching the ground. You're going to Lift your knees off the ground so your shins are parallel to the ground. Hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Take a breather and lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Two more times. Lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Go ahead and put your knees back onto the ground. We're gonna go into a child's pose stretch. So bring your forearms to the ground. Bring your bottom to the backs of your heels. And then stretch. You can bring your forehead to the ground if that feels good for you, if that's a good stretch for your back and for your body. Hold that. All right. And then we're gonna do that exercise again from tabletop. So go ahead into tabletop position, hands flat on the ground. If you need a modification for this instead of doing the tabletop, Exercise, you are welcome to go into a forearm plank or a high plank or a wall plank, whatever feels best for you. All right, curl your toes again. We're going to lift up here. Shins are parallel to the ground and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, knees back onto the ground and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower back to the ground. Lift, we're halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. And then one more time. Lift up. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. All right. Lean back into child's pose again. Forearms come to the ground, bottom comes to your heels. Forehead touches the ground. If it feels good for you, reach your fingertips forward and crawl your fingertips forward so you get more of a stretch in your back and in your armpits. And just take a few deep breaths in and out here. All right, we're gonna do this two more times and then we will be done with our Pilates flow. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and join me. I'm going, I'm up in my tabletop position. Curl your toes under and lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and lower. Lift up, engaging your core. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Lift up, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Last time, lift up, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Back into child's pose, forearms to the ground, bottom comes to the ground, or bottom to your uh, heels, forehead comes to the ground. Take two nice deep breaths in and out here. Another deep breath in and out. And then whenever you're ready, come on and join me up in tabletop. We're gonna do our last set of this exercise and then we'll be done with our Pilates flow for the day, for the evening, whatever, whenever you're able to catch this workout with us. Go ahead and lift up onto your toes for five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Lift up, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Two more times. Lift up, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. One more time, lift up, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. All right, great job, everybody. If you wanna do a few cool down stretches, you are welcome to do those with us. So I'm sitting on my mat. I'm sitting right in the middle of my mat. I am, my legs are crossed. I'm sitting with my shoulders back and my, trying to keep some good posture here. All right, whenever you're ready, you can bring your left hand in front of you. So I'm holding my left hand in front of me, kind of like I'm telling someone to stop. My palm is facing away from me. Take your right hand and grab your fingertips and pull your fingertips back. Pull those back and then release. You can put your arms down and then switch. So bring your arm up, bring your right arm up, left hand pulls your fingers back. Keep going, all right, and stop. Now we're gonna do that for the opposite muscle group. So now we are going to, again, hold your hand out like you are telling someone to stop but instead of having your fingers pointed towards the ceiling, fingers point towards the ground. Right hand comes in front of your left hand, pull your hand towards you, pull your fingers towards you. All right, and release. Now we're gonna do that on the right side. So right hand out, like you're telling someone to stop, arm is stretched out in front of you. Fingertips point towards the ground. Left hand, wrap around your right hand and pull your fingers and your hand back towards you. All right, go ahead and release. If you need to, shake out your hands, shake out your arms, do a few shoulder shrugs if that feels good. We're gonna do a little spinal twist, kind of like I had talked about a little bit before. So go ahead and turn to the left. My hands are behind me um, on my left and my right side. And I'm just turning to the left, turning my face to the left, turning my shoulders, but my shoulders aren't square with the wall. It's really just my face that's square with the wall here. And then come back to looking forward and then stretch to the opposite side. For me, that's the right. Okay, and we're going to face forward. All right, 
Now we are going to lift our hands straight above our head. So fingertips can point towards the ceiling. If you want to touch your hands together, you can. If you want to interlock your fingers together, you can. We're just going to lift up and look up towards the ceiling, lifting, lifting, and lower. Go ahead and bring your hands back down in front of you at your sides, whatever you prefer. We'll do that one more time. Take a nice deep breath in, bring your fingertips up towards the ceiling and breathe out. Fingertips towards the ceiling, hands can be together or not. Lift up even higher, lift your head up to look at the ceiling. All right, and then release. So that's our Pilates flow for today. We hope you all enjoyed it. We hope you will see us back here next time for another workout with NWABA.